Okay, so let's talk about a video that we shot back in 2013. It was one of the biggest productions we've done so far. Let's go over the challenges that we faced and what helped us shoot each scene faster by visually planning it. In 2013, we made a playera que se llamaba El Cuaderno. Since we started the brand back in 2011, every time that we released a new tee, we also created a video when we released the t-shirt. So for El Cuaderno, we decided to step it up a bit. So we created a script and a storyboard to visualize how the video would look. Since it wasn't gonna have dialogue, it needed to tell a story visually. El concepto del video era mostrar el proceso en cuanto ordena la playera hasta que la recibe. So we started calling in favorcitos from familia, amigos, acquaintances for cast, crew, locations, and equipment. So my first task was to look for crew on Craigslist. So after a few days, we got responses from people that were excited to help out. And even one of them had a red camera, which would make the video 10 times better than what we originally were gonna shoot it with. Next up, we called in favors from family and friends. Luckily, most of them said yes, and even brought their own friends to help out. So as things got real, I felt the pressure. I didn't want to let anyone down. The script we created required three locations, inside a house, outside a house, and a screen printing location. Luckily, my old film school, Brooks, which is now gone, let us borrow their soundstage, which we used for the indoor scene. For the outside of the house, my cousins were cool for us to use their place. They even had a 59 Impala, which we also needed as a prop. Lastly, a screen printing company that we used to do business with back in the days, they let us borrow their space for a couple hours or so. With everything falling into place, I started coordinating dates, times, with the cast, the crew, and the locations. When production day came, we had two days to shoot the video, back to back. I think those two days were some of my proudest moments for shooting content for Bibbidi Bao. It was story-based, long form. Uh, we had an amazing cast and crew. Unos amigos que nos ayudaron en todo posible. So before diving into the final video, which you'll see in a bit, Let's compare the storyboards with the final shots so you can see how much planning helps out. Making detailed storyboards can be very helpful. They act like a map on the day of filming so you don't have to keep figuring out what comes next or how to frame each shot. They give you a clear picture of what each scene should look like, easily helping you set up your shots. But even though storyboards are very useful, it's good to stay flexible because things might change during filming. Before moving on to see the final video in its entirety, the original music track was by Cartel de Santa. But since we couldn't use it because of copyright, we re-edited the video with the song you're about to hear. So here's the final edit of El Cuaderno. Enjoy. Ya 
Cambiando macizo, muevo jalecito con la gloca el cinto siempre está conmigo bajo perfil todo y siempre al tiro pa'l que le quiera calar. Caídas un chingo ya me he tropezado, me he quedado en cero ni ponta traigo gracias mis zancudas al pendiente siempre ha de cuidarme. Si quieren saber quién es un hombre no les diré. Tiene pinta de malandro y más cinco no les Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Although we've slowed down in creating live action videos like this, our personal goal is to keep producing more videos like this and also maybe create a short film. We'll keep you posted. Gracias por su tiempo. Espero que les haya gustado. Hope we earned your thumbs up. And if you like this video, comment below. Or if you didn't like it, comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, looking forward to hearing your feedback. Till next time, gracias nuevamente.